Hey guys, the next few episodes in this in this series aren't going to have any game audio. The reason for this was because I recorded these episodes in a book recording session and did not realize that the audio was not recording. More specifically, episodes 175 to 179 will not have audio. This will be fixed after the fact. Hope you guys still enjoy it though. Welcome back to more Persona 5 Royal. I need more water. Ha ha ha. Alright, last time, we got some third tier personas, um, in specific we got Yusuke's and Haru's. And we also maxed out Sumire's confidant and got her persona, Vanadis. In this episode, we're gonna max out, we're gonna get Makoto and On's third tier personas, and then it's off to Maruki's palace. But of course, we gotta get the third tier personas first. Let's start off with On. Hello. Sorry, this is kind of sudden. I know it's cramped, but make yourself at home. Uh, what's the plan today? Oh, I didn't call you here for anything big or official. Sorry. Actually, I wanted to give you a proper apology for everything. You know, because I got caught up in the life Dr. Monkey made for me. That's in the past. I guess, but even if you're okay with it, it's really bothering me. It's really been bothering me. Honestly, I'm still trying to figure out what the right choice is. I mean, I'm not saying Dr. Monkey's reality is better or anything, but I can't stop thinking about Shiho, or how great her life could have been if things were like this. I know the feeling. Thanks, don't worry. I'm still gonna fight back against Dr. Mark. His world can make a lot of people happy, sure, but does that reality give him the right but does that really give him the right to change reality? Shiho is still moving forward, even after everything she's been through. She didn't lose hope. My strength came from her. That's why when Kamashita said he'd kill himself, I told him he couldn't run from it all. She didn't run away, so he can't either. And if I took the easy way out now, I'd be letting Shiho down. You're right. You're so kind, Sam. Hmm? Kind of familiar, huh? Back when I finally broke down under the Kamashita stuff, you listened to me like this, too. You didn't know me at all, but you still listened to everything. I couldn't figure you out. Like, I kept thinking, what's this guy's deal? Not only that, but you helped me with Shiho and my modeling. You're too nice for your own good. Anything for you. I got you guys. <laughs> I get it. Can't stand a sad face on a pretty girl, huh? Anyway, I really am grateful. That just makes me feel even worse about accepting this reality. I'm never going to lose my way again. From now on, I'm going to face reality. For me, for Shiho, and for you. That's freaking right. Is this my power? I can't believe it. On's Persona Hecate is transformed into Celestine. Okay, I'm ready to move on. Thank you for everything. I promise I'm going to do even better from here on out. And her trait, Mastery of Magic, turns into Pinnacle of Magic. May decrease SP cost of allies' magic skills by half, and she gets high energy. Next magic attack deals over double the damage for all allies. So it's essentially a concentrate for all allies, similar to Ryuji's uh, thing. Very, very useful. We're going to get rid of Matarunda. It's very, I will admit Matarunda is useful, but high energy is, is uh, it's pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. Alright. So we only need one more. We have nine days to get Makoto's third tier persona and go to the palace. I think we'll be fine. So now we just gotta do it. Also, I'm very glad I locked my door. I've been recording for a, hot, for a little bit now, and if anyone was locked in, that would not have been fun at all. <laughs> Morning. 
Holy crap, the snow is crazy. It's freezing, but exciting at the same time. Say, has this been some kind of change of mementos, too? I have to get ready. Well, let's check it out after you're ready. Come on, sound good? Promise me you'll think about it, alright, man? Uh, no, because we don't need to go to mementos. <laughs> well, actually, we do. I just remembered something about mementos that we need to go to for. And there's Makoto. Alright, so you know what I'm gonna do. You know what I'm gonna do. Let's save our game. Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're headed off to Memento. Because Ryuji reminded me of a thing in Mementos that we need to do. That we need to do. Oh. Oh, that's right. Um... So you guys aren't meant to see this yet, um, whoops. <laughs> I guess we'll show it off now, whatever. An epiphany. Sounds like a blast. Sam and Sumire's Showtime has been unlocked. So, you weren't supposed to see this yet. I kind of forgot this was here, but it's fine. It's fine. We'll get this after when we go back to the palace officially, but, you know, it's fine. Um, actually, we'll skip, we'll skip through this because we'll read this after the fact, um, because we're not going to the palace, we're going to Mementos to, to, um, to do this thing. So there's a thing in Mementos that we can now do, now that the third semester, um, area has been unlocked. This is only a thing that happens if you unlock that third semester area. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh my god, I forgot about this too! This isn't even what I was talking about. favor. One who rules over power. So, when you come to Mementos after the third semester thing, you, um, so you guys remember how you could fight the twins? Yeah, well, welcome to that, but pain. <laughs> Lavenza is brutally difficult. I have not even bothered, like, she is brutal. So, if you attempt that challenge, good luck. Alright, but where we're headed is the final area of the third semester uh, section. 16, area 16, the path of dot. If we come here, after, you may notice something in the back. You may see something. You see, that, look, that looks, looks familiar. Almost looks like... Uh, can't quite make out what it is. But it looks familiar. If we walk up to it, think it becomes brutally clear what it is. It's Jose. For once I said his name the way the game says it, alright? But no, Jose. It's Jose. What is he doing here? Let's talk to him. What's up, dude? What What are you doing here? Right, like, what the hell? What the hell is he doing here?
think my brother's here. What do you mean? Sorry, love Ryuji. <laughs> Boneface. I love that. I love that for Ryuji's name, Boneface. Gotta love it. Akechi, really? Really Akechi? Bite you. <laughs> Hate how that just relates to me. Hate that so much. I'm fine with it. Let's fight. Welcome to the easiest of the hidden bosses in Persona 5 Royal. Jose, Jose is one of the easiest uh, hidden bosses. Um, really the only ones are Caroline and Justine and Lavenza, which all their stats are 99. Take a guess. <laughs> but this is one of the easier ones. It, you can do this a little bit underprepared. Um, I did it on my first try, so this is no problem. I'm going to start venting now. But don't expect this to be an easy fight, though. Do not expect that to be this to be an easy fight. So, oh my god! <laughs> oh, <laughs> I may have fucked up. <laughs> that don't know. Oh no! Oh no! I may be underprepared. <laughs> I may be underprepared. <laughs> I'm in danger. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go for high energy. We're gonna debilitate with the catchy. Now, I believe he is neutral to all elements and I think resists physical and gun. But I'm gonna try. I don't think I can crit him. So I'm just not gonna bother trying to crit him. Um, let's go, Kugan. How much is that gonna do? 389. Ugh. Gale Ball. That's wind. So, oh my goodness. So all of his attacks are... <gasps> Here's ultimate support! Okay, this activated um, off-camera when I was uh, going through the depths of... when I was going through this section of mementos off-camera. So, ultimate support. Heals the entire party. Auto Heat Riser plus a critical buff. Um, and I think that's it. I think that's all it does. But it's really good. Um, so, yeah, oh god.
What am I going to say? Whatever. Alright, let's see if we can beat this guy. Because he is very strong. He is very strong. Does Aum have a... Yes, she does. Oh, now I remember. Um, she uses every single element as a multi-hitting attack. So that those are his attacks. Uh, four oh six. Ugh. Eh, damage. I do, I know you cannot crit him. So shit. <laughs> Uh, new beginning, burned our feet. Fireball, okay. We take those? We take those for days, except Akira's burned, which is not fun. I don't think I can put him to sleep. Hasutobi might... That, that's the thing with Hasutobi, is I don't know <laughs> how much it can do. I think I'll just try in Salvation, just to... That's gonna do literally nothing but, like... I think we, we have to wait till on, uh, high energies. Or should we buff our defenses some more? I mean, they're already buffed up, but, like, buff them for longer, you know? Nah, I gotta get rid of this burn. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of this burn, bro. That burn is just gonna... Bite me in the ass if I don't, uh, heal it now. Alright, on high energy once more. This is draining through her SP, but I do not care. <laughs> I do not care. I am going to debilitate uh, with Akechi, though. Alright, Kugan. 539. That's good. Gale Ball. Okay, that's wind. We absorb wind. Might do some damage. Okay, ugh. Ech, damage. Ech, damage is what I can say. Also, apologize for your background noise. There are people in the house, but my door is locked, so we're fine. Blazing Hell. Yeah, wow, look at her SP. That is drained after two turns, but... Also, after two turns, he's already down to, uh, half health, so, take that for what you will. I'm just gonna shoot him. Okay, he does not resist gun. Okay, so he only resists physical. Okay. Cyball. Uh, on my... Okay, we're good. That barely hurt. What kind of support? A heal, okay. You know, actually, I'll take that heal. I'll take that heal. Oh, and there goes our uh, ultimate support. Um, let's see, what do we do here? I guess I can heat riser myself, right? Yeah, I'll just, I'll just heat riser myself. Uh, so I can keep dishing out, like, high damage. And, of course, on, just keep doing what you're doing by using high energy. Which, you also cannot do blazing hell now, which is... And you also can't high energy again, which is scary. So I might... Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna heal up SP with a soul food. We have five of these. Nuke ball. That was gonna kill someone! Oh, that was gonna kill, uh, Sumire. Oh, god. Well, there goes our final guard. <laughs> uh, that was gonna kill Sumire. Holy shit. <laughs> well, that's scary. Wait, no. That was gonna kill Sumire? Wait, was that gonna kill me? Was that gonna kill Akira? Oh. That might have killed- That might have almost killed Akira. Oh. That 
That might have almost killed Akira, I think. I think, I think. I don't know. Alright, let's go for Kugan again. He's almost dead. Fireball. Okay, that we should be fine. Oh, there goes Sumire. Ah, uh, launch. Oh shit. Ultimate support again. Oh. Oh, <gasps> that revives. Ultimate support revives. I did not know that. Okay, but we have to guard. We have to, cause uh, launch is um. It's dangerous. <laughs> we have to guard here. Alright, guarding. There goes his debilitate. Special fireworks. Akira should be fine. But I don't know about- I can't say the same about the other teammates. I don't know if I can say the same about the others. Oh! On's dead. Yeah, I knew Akira would be fine. I knew he would be. Okay. Where's, uh, we need some in a reviver. Um, Bomb of Life. Ah, <sighs> crap. Alright, we gotta take this turn to heal. Akechi physically cannot heal. So, he's gonna die anyways, we'll debilitate, we'll get the debilitate off. Yeah, we can't heal him though, that's a problem. Nuke ball, alright, Akechi's dead, that's fine, we'll just, re we'll just revive a drain. HE DODGED! Oh, launch again, you're shitting me. I don't know if Akira's gonna live. Well, we have to risk Akira. That's all we can do, risk Akira. Heal everyone up, and then risk Akira. Special fireworks. Let's hope Akira lives this. Okay, we're good. Uh, from his on always dies. It doesn't matter what she does. She always dies. So I think we should risk her healing. Or risk her, because she's going to die anyways. Doesn't matter. We had defenses up, and his attack was down, and she still died. So it literally doesn't matter. Bless ball. Okay, Akechi, uh-oh. Oh, recovered by a Veil of Midnight, but Akechi's dead. Ah! Okay. Oh my god, launch again. Crap. Crap. Uh, okay, how do we do this? Okay, we know Akira lives. We know he does. There's no way he does 900 damage. 999. There's no way. So, this will do. We're gonna meteor hand. Yeah, we're gonna meteor hand uh, with Kira, and then we're gonna defend with Sumire, and then we're gonna bomb of life with On. Because she's gonna die no matter what. So just bomb of life. Oh, yeah, and this will give Akechi his turn, and he can guard. So, I'm gonna die. We're gonna have to bring her back to life. Oh, 
what killed me? Oh shit. Rip. Rip, dude. That sucks. Oh well. Well, at least you guys saw the boss fight, so. You guys saw the boss fight, so it really does not matter. Alright. So now we'll, we'll load up our save again and we'll talk to Makoto. You guys saw the boss fight, it's fine. Alright, I'm gonna load this. It, um, if you're curious about the later dialogue, like the dialogue after you beat him, really it's just him saying, oh, I learned literally nothing from that, it doesn't matter. And then he just goes off. So, I think you get an item for it, but it, I, it really does not matter. It doesn't matter, because we were going to move the save file anyways, or like, reload the save file, so it literally did not, did not matter. <laughs> Sorry for calling you over so suddenly. There's something I just had to tell you. What is it? Honestly, I wanted to apologize. I couldn't back you up when you needed me the most. What do you mean? I'm talking about Dr. Maruki. Ever since the new year, I've been stuck in this fake reality. In his fake reality. You remember that time before I joined the Phantom Thieves when I called you to the student council when I called you to the student council room? I challenged you on your ideals, threatened to expose you all, as if I knew any ever, anything about what was going on. But since then I've learned so much from the Phantom Thieves. From you. You saved me. More times than I can possibly count. After all that, I promised myself that if you were ever in trouble, I would leap in to save you. But I forgot that vow. I just threw it away so I could cling to father and sis. It's awful to know that I that all along I was so weak and self centered. We're all like that. Do you think so? No, maybe you're right. Strange though. I can always forgive mistakes from others, but never from myself. You know, I think I'm more lonely than I was willing to admit. Father never spent much time at home. When he was there, he always had his mind on some case. And Sis put all her time into work, for both our sakes. I respected them both so much, and I still do, of course. But I can't just let them take care of me forever. That's your decision. That's what I think, at least. Though it's a fairly new idea for me. If I hadn't been in this situation, I'm not sure it would have been, would have been, it would even have occurred to me. In any case, I've made my decision. I'm done just sitting quietly and doing as I'm told. If I'm weak, or self-centered, or lonely, or too dependent on my family, then that's my problem to fix. But my pain's still a part of me. All the struggles, your support, it's what helped me stand up for myself. I can't lose that. I'm not exactly abandoning the person I was, but I figure trying to ball it up will only make life harder. I want to be able to look at the most awful, disgraceful parts of myself, and still be able to say, so what? That's great. It's a relief to know you're supporting me. If I can get everyone to understand me and see and really see who I am, then I think that'll give me strength. If I'm ever tempted like this again, I'll remember to stay true to myself, even if it's not a conscious decision. Decision. That's why I wanted to apologize. I guess I'm not completely ready to stand on my own just yet, but I'll but I'll keep trying, and I won't run away. That's freaking right. This is me? Oh, I get it now. Makoto's persona, a knot, has transformed into Agnes. It's strange. All it took to make my heart stronger was just to put myself first. Sounds like you. Sorry, but it looks like I'll still have to rely on you a while longer. So I hope you'll be prepared. And Gaia Pact turns into Gaia Blessing. Increases Alice's chance of inflicting burn free shock by 50%, and we get checkmate. Decreases attack, defense, accuracy, evasion for all foes. It's essentially a all foe debilitate, which is incredible, but. No. <laughs> Alright. You guys know what's next. We're headed to Maruki's Palace. That's the only thing we got left to do. We got all our teammates' third tier personas. Including ourselves, ha ha ha, with a Raul. But we have that ready to go, and 
All that's left is to take it to Maruki. And that's exactly what we're going to do. But we're going to do that in the next episode of Persona 5 Royal. Thank you all so much for watching. In the next episode of Persona 5 Royal, we're headed to Maruki's Palace. Actually, take that back. We are, we are going to begin exploring Maruki's Palace because... Because my specific word choice was we're gonna enter Maruki's palace. But we're gonna enter it right now. <laughs> oh yeah, so here's uh, Sumire's uh, showtime. So let's just uh, skip through this. So I'm in Sumire's showtime. And then, and then the little conversation here. We're going to the palace today, right? Since we're able to move forward now? Nope, just a maybe. Can't be absolutely certain yet. I hope we can get through safely, but what if something happens? Whatever the case may be, we should go in and check. The atmosphere of the real world is beginning to change. We cannot afford to wait much longer. I agree, but the decision is ultimately up to Sam. Infiltrate Palace. Let us depart to Maruki's Palace. Somber piano once again. Alright. In the next episode of Persona 5 Royal, we're headed into Maruki's Palace to figure out everything. I'll see you guys then. I'll see you guys then. Peace.